Welcome YouTube Acoustic Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, which is pretty much, you know, my peeps, the pedal nerds, now looking at acoustic guitars. Or, if you've never been to my channel, this is rare. So we're doing a kind of a special edition. Acoustic guitars on the cheap with Ike Jung as special guest. That's Ike Jung. Hi there. So I was asked by some fans of mine, which is way cool that I have fans, um, to do some Harley Benton guitar demos and then I went to Toman and talked to the marketing team and they said well we also have really cool acoustic guitars so I said tell me more and then they gave me the full tour and I played a couple of them there are so many models it's insane whatever you the flavor acoustic guitar you're looking for you can find it and we're starting this sem this series with three maybe there'll be more maybe I can will be back that'll be way cool but we've done two we've done a Triple O style guitar for 169. We've done a, a Dreadnought for 129, which is ridiculously cheap. And now, out of the three, this is the top model for us now. It is called the Harley Benton Custom Line CLD minus 41 SE. And I'm thinking that's stupid. We need another female name for it. Henriette. Henriette, fantastic. Das ist die Henriette. Okay? Hi, Henriette. I'm thinking they should just give them female names. Why not? Because custom line CLD minus 41 SE is not really something I can sell. So, Henriette, there we go. Um, it is selling for $2.99. And uh, I went on the British version of Toman where you save 10 bucks and get it for $2.89. That's mean because those Brits pay less. Um, Include shipping? Including shipping. Oh. Those bastards. Anyway, um, let me tell you some stuff about the guitar and then about the setup. And then Ike is going to play it for you. This guitar has a pickup, so we're going to also play it with the Joyo little acoustic AC20 amp. And then we're also going to compare it unfairly to my 900 euro PRS SE Angelus Custom and Ike's incredibly nice um, Lakewood, which is way past 2000 euro. So, let me read some things that I really do not understand too much. Um, it is an acoustic electric steel guitar, which doesn't mean it's electric, just means it has a pickup. I'm not saying this because you dumbasses, I'm saying this because this is in a price range where people... Fishman with nice tuners... Yeah. Uh, people might actually buy this who have never bought a guitar like this and don't know what an acoustic electric means. It's not a semi-hollow, it's not a semi-acoustic, it is an acoustic guitar that can be plugged in. So, it's a dreadnought which, mean, which refers to the shape. Dovetail construction. Now what does that mean? Do we know that? It means that thing, right? Is that a dovetail? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think that's what the dovetail is. Um, oh, here we go. The top is my favorite one again. It's a solid Sitka spruce top. And for someone with a lisp, that is... It's a solid Sitka, solid Sitka spruce top. Solid. They actually wrote solid, solid. So I would have to say solid, solid, thicker through the top. Double solid. Yeah, du it's, du it's so solid, it's so they had to write it two times. Um, rosewood body. Haha, -ha, not mahogany like the other one. It's got a rosewood body. So you can actually compare it to the PRS Angelus Custom because it doesn't have mahogany. It also has rosewood. So it's actually kind of a fair comparison. Yeah, I think. So... Um, um, abalone body binding, which means it's kind of this little wussy, kind of flippy flippy. It's a little bit too pretty for me, but it's nice if you like that kind of thing. Um, mahogany neck, Indian rosewood fingerboard, modified oval V-shaped neck, not a C this time. 
Do you, do you feel the difference bet- to the other one? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Um, abalone hexagon inlays. They're actually incredibly nice looking. So, uh, very colorful, very nice. You saw that in the slideshow, I hope. Um, 643mm scale, 43mm nut width, 20 frets, white fretboard and, white fretboard and body binding. <sighs> binging. It says binging. I think they mean binding, right? Binging is when you drink too much. <laughs> when you go to binge. I don't think they mean binge. I think they mean binding. Uh, you went to Beijing. <laughs> or you went to Beijing, where this is probably from. Um, a bone nut and compensated bone saddle. We already talked about this on the other guitars. In that price range to get real bone, it's not whale or tiger or snake or whatever. It's probably some animal that, you know, we have enough of. Like monkeys. Um, Rosewood bridge, scalloped X bracing, which refers to the, um, the wood that's under the Sitka spruce top. So that's that's the shape. It's an X bracing, deluxe chrome diecast tuners. Now talking about the chrome, they're gold. They're not chrome. Chrome. They're they're gold. Deluxe gold diecast tuners. Get your shit together, Thomas. <laughs> they they look gold to me, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it's. No, no, that's clearly gold. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Well. They have about a billion products. They can make a mistake once in a while. They do a lot of stuff really well. So, talking about the tuners, guitars in this price range, well, around 300 bucks, you could expect the guitar to be tunable. But even the extremely cheap ones are still functional and tunable. And for beginners, very easy to get to the right tuning, especially because it has a Fishman Isis Plus preamp system with integrated chromatic tuner. Which, um, actually, Leslie, can you come over here and show this? That's a fish, man. It works. It works straightforward, and you save money on the tuner, and you always have it with you. Killer. Thank you, lovely assistant Leslie. Um, it comes equipped with Dario. EXP 16 strings and it has a natural satin finish. Um, so no crappy strings on the pack of the Dadarius will cost you four to five bucks. So I mean it's all you all have to figure that in. So it doesn't actually have a cheap ass pickup system. The pickup and uh, preamp system is from Fishman and that is a renowned company. Now all this said, it looks kind of snazzy with the binding and with the inlays and all this stuff, but for someone who plays really nice handmade guitars, how does it play? How does it handle? It handles very nice. It's just a nice guitar. Playing is easy. I didn't expect it. So, such a cheap guitar. Yeah. yeah. That's that's really I was very surprised because you expect a student grade so you can play you know basic chords but as soon as you get into the higher registers it doesn't perform anymore and in yeah. I usually feel like guitars in that price range you have to fight with you're fighting with, and, fighting with. and as an experienced guitar player you feel like you want to get away from that guitar and get back to your nice one and with all the Harley Benton guitars including the electric guitars which I've been playing for a week now I never felt like I want to put it away and grab my thousand euro more expensive guitar. I just felt comfortable, and that is uh, that is, I think, high praise for their quality control department for the way that they're set up. Because oh, the I fo- setup is also very good. I actually, I'm I'm completely sorry, sorry to Toman. I forgot to mention that on the other two videos. So here it comes. When I was there. There is actually a Harley Benton quality control department. Really? So every single guitar that comes from probably China, every single Harley Benton product, it gets taken out of the case, out of the cardboard box that it comes in. It doesn't come in a case. It gets taken out of the cardboard box and they check it. They make sure that it plays well, that it's set up well, and every single Harley Benton product is checked. It's really set up very nice. And if there's something wrong with it, outside of the Harley Benton uh, quality control department is a big 
box filled with guitars that didn't make it that had something wrong with them that had some maybe visual problem or that didn't work or a cable wasn't connected or something like this so they definitely weed out the crap and um, sell it on eBay for dirt cheap or something so there is quality control between the factory in China and the final customer which is you um, which it all costs money to do this and it's pretty amazing that uh, they can still keep this price point now for what's coming next we're gonna listen to it and for the third time now if you haven't seen the other two videos I'm gonna give you the quick uh, setup I said a guitar like this will probably not be mic'd in a studio with thousand euro mics so I asked Toman to send me their T-Bone mics which we have now here because they're pretty much in the price range of the people who would buy this guitar and we have an amazing high quality tube mic here um, there will be videos just for these mics coming soon this is the you can read about retro tube 2 it's the retro tube 2 really killer and this is recording in a cardioid pattern straight from Ica this is the 2000 CD SCT2000. SCT the retro tube is about 222. The one on top is 199. Dirt cheap. They come in cases and it's again very high, high presentation value. Also sound good. And this one records in a figure eight this way. So we got cardioid coming here in figure eight this way. And then in the computer you do what's called MS technique you pan this one to the left and this one to the right and then go into a plugin that does everything automatically or you do something with face re read about it it's we have no time so ms technique sounds cool and um you can actually see the setup of these mics in an incredibly sped up video uh well now Okay, well, if that wasn't boring enough. Now, Ike is going to play a nice tune ski, mic'd with a 300 euro guitar, and then we're going to do the same thing, just a couple of quick chords and stuff with the pickup, so you see that it works. You've already heard it in the introduction. And then we're going to compare it quickly to the 900 euro PRS and the more than 2,000 euro uh, Lakewood, just so you hear a reference. We're not saying this has to be in the same league, but just so you know, based on this setup, what more expensive guitars sound like. We're not saying they should be equal, right? Yeah. Do some easy strumming stuff and picking. Yeah. Just things singer-songwriter do mostly, I think. <laughs> Very nice. And I'm just going to crank up the amp here so we can hear it, um, you know, just going through the amp. And I'm going to turn these mics off and I'm going to go through my vocal mic. Just so, I mean, you hear the preamp in it.
<laughs> now I, that I actually found pretty impressive. I mean, it's three hundred bucks, and you have a little inexpensive China amp, and for me. That's a setup that you could use live without a problem and it would yeah. give you a, a very adequate, nice sound. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. So, we're going to compare this to the um, Angelus now. Okay, first, the PRS Angelus, SE Angelus uh, Custom, whatever, it's 900 bucks. Remember, it's 900 bucks with a case. And it also has a cutaway, so it's a different kind of guitar. Tuner is working. Tuner works. There is actually a full video of this guitar on my channel, so if you really want to hear everything about it, look for it. And here we go. First, with the mics. Okay, and just with the mics, not with the amp, we're just going to listen to Agus Lakewood. So you have a reference of an extremely high quality guitar, referenced to the 300 euro one. I don't know how to do that, I don't know. He, he goes like... And it sounds really cool. Look at that. It's like secretly when I watch his videos, I go like, asshole. Asshole. He's an asshole. What an asshole. Look at that fucker. Look at him. Look at him. Look, look, look. Of course, I would never tell him that in his face. No, no. No, no. no. Don't do no. But I go like, I show my, my students this, and I'm like, look, 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 look. Asshole. And they're like, Henning, if you practiced, you could do that too. And I, and I tell them, yes, I could, but I couldn't. So, um, talking about that, go to his channel. Really cool stuff happening there. You should see a link down here, how to get there. <coughs> and I told you this in the other videos. If you're interested in this guitar, do me the favor of using the link I provided underneath this video because I get some kind of rewards program at Toman and one day they're going to send me a yacht or coke or cocaine or crack crack probably they're going to send me a whole brick brick of crack what how does how does crack come in a brick, brick is it crack is it 
powder? No. No. I, I, I don't know. If you know, post it in the comments. I have no idea. So, um, just, you know, I, I get some stuff. Uh, so, and also they can track how much is coming from my channel, which is good for me. So, order it through the link provided below. Um, $2.99, I think it's a no-brainer. It's, it's an awesome price, I think. And I would even say if you're looking for a guitar, and please correct me if I'm wrong, in the price range, maybe under six, maybe even under seven hundred, I would think this is still a contender, yeah. right? Yeah, right? So uh, definitely do yourself the favor if you're in the area, Toman, or if you just want to order a few <laughs> to, to check it out, which you can do. Check this against guitars, several hundred euro more, and put it on your list of guitars to check out if you're in the market for an acoustic guitar. I don't think you'll be disappointed. No. He surely had fun. Okay, that's it from us. This was a long evening of doing many, 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 many acoustic things for you, my trusty viewers. And uh, we both want to thank Leslie for standing there for hours. Thank you, Leslie. Um, you know, filming us doing stuff that she has absolutely no interest in. She's a doll. She's just a doll, she is. Which is probably why she calls me, you know, a pussy and being gay and stuff all the time. She does? Yeah, she does. Oh. I hear like 20 times a day, you're so gay. That's gay. Stop being gay. You like men. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See you guys.